This week on Sail Away, it's time to leave our favorite island. And to set sail under stormy skies for new and wilder horizons. We're next to a volcano that can erupt. That'd be fun, right? It kind of would be fun. <laughs> Spewing ash and stuff, and it's changing its uh, its makeup. So I mean, it's got a lot going on uh, where, you know, like you know, this thing could go off at any any point. Ever wish you could escape normal life and experience more of the world? So meet me on that island. Well, we did just that. We sold everything we owned on dry land and sailed away. Hey, promise me that we'll sail away. Now we are roaming the planet in search of new adventures and sharing it with you every week. Just promise me that we'll sail away. So hit subscribe and escape normal with us. I'll be yours Come on, it's just that little button down there. That's it. In December 2019, we kicked off our journey with a hop across the Gulf Stream to the Bahamas in our 46-foot sailboat. Since then, we've had to make some big leaps to the U.S. Virgins and then to Grenada for hurricane season. We finally started to feel like our freedom to roam had been restored when we were able to start hopping back up the island chain starting with St. Vincent and the Grenadines. But nothing simple in these times, even when trying to live the simple life. And it's looking like another big hop and skipping some islands that we were excited to see is once again in our future. Good morning. Well, we are rolling out of bed, rolling out of bed bright and early. It is about 6 a.m. because today we start the long process of getting checked out of here so we can go to Antigua for some ungodly reason that means we have to go test uh, get our PCR tests between 6 and 7 at the uh, local hospital clinic thing so that's where we're headed in just a few minutes we're not early risers very often you are shrouded in darkness yeah I wish I was and <laughs> Rivers. Little buddy. Go get up, bud. Alright. All right, it's time to go off camera. Get this all together. Then we're off. Different, uh, a little different vibe this early. We walk by it all the time. Morning. Hi. Gang's all here. Okay, so somebody can go in. Go for it. Have fun. Hey. What's the name of your yacht? I want to go. The name of your yacht? Uh, it's Cecilia. C-E-C-I-L-I-A. -C -E so, we're almost, almost got our tests sorted out. We still have to pay for them, and the pharmacy behind the clinic where you pay is not open yet. So, running these guys back to the boat, then I'm gonna come back over here, pay, and then I gotta just go show her my receipt, and I think that's it. And then we just wait for the results to come in. We're gonna turn our feet out to a 45 degree angle and slowly bend our knees into horse pose. Here we can dance up and down like we're riding a horse. Yoga is his life now. 
as of today, yesterday, he's been <laughs> watching yoga videos all day, which is kind of awesome. So we have kind of a novel uh, thing coming up right now. We are leaving for Antigua, uh, either on Sunday or Monday. We're gonna keep watching the weather to get the right window, but we need fuel. And here in Beckway, they have this really cool fuel service boat that comes around, <laughs> they'll take your laundry, uh, they'll fill you up on water, fuel, and they just pull up to your boat, tie off, and fill you up. So we radioed them, they're about to come fill us up. Should be kind of fun. I mean, hopefully. It's a little windy and a little rolly, so. Fuel delivery. Zeke's unsure about it. <laughs> That dude's driving the boat. I'm 100% sure he cannot see where he's going. And 600 EC later, we were all fueled up and ready to go. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. And with that job done, it was time to enjoy our last night in Beckway, which meant friends and drinks on the beach. It's hard to fully express just how special the place Beckway became to us. Zeke's happy hour. Gross, not so sandy. But they're struggling just like so many of the islands right now. We can't wait to come back when things are close to some sort of normal and hopefully celebrate better times with these beautiful, resilient people. All right, well, the pieces are coming together. We got our test results back in literally one day. Got them this morning, took the test yesterday morning. Negative. And uh, now I'm going to go check us out. And we are probably going to leave uh, tomorrow morning. So, got a lot of groceries to buy before that happens. Simple enough, all checked out. Even went to the chandlery and bought a screw and an Antigua flag. I'm just about ready. We're all checked out, Zeke. You ready to go pee on some new islands? Get a, get a little lunch before the big provision. Yeah. yeah. I'm trying to balance provisioning so that we potentially have enough food for two weeks just in case we get quarantined, which we hopefully won't. But not so much because shopping is much, much better there. And so right now, we're here at the Sailor's Cafe. River's has butter already. <sighs> Cheers to getting out of here once again. Getting out of... I mean, I guess it is once again here. We've left here before. I'm looking forward to being back. I want motor. I back <laughs> we haven't even left. Haven't even left. It's been good to us, but I'm very much looking forward to moving. So I don't think we talked about our plan. We are planning to leave tomorrow morning, and I think we're going to sail up to the northwest corner of St. Vincent. It's called, I believe, Chateau Blair, and then spend the night there, and then on Monday morning take off and go all the way to Antigua. Uh, Weather-wise, it'll give us like a just a break in just the right time to maybe get a good sale that whole way. We'll, we'll see. It's not gonna be perfect no matter what. But is it ever? Hopefully, this time. Are these different kind of furniture? No, nope. they're made different. from Caribbean potatoes. 
Say goodbye to Antoine. We gotta go. I need to go now. That boy. Nice to meet you, Antoine. We were definitely having some remorseful feelings leaving Beckway. We've seen very little of the Caribbean, but so far this little island just south of St. Vincent has been our favorite. It's been a combination of natural beauty, a cute little town, extreme convenience for cruising sailors, and smiling faces everywhere we went. See you later. Next time around. On the flip side of the seasons. Hopefully like COVID. Yeah. That'd be nice. How'd you like that way? Thanks. What was your favorite? The monster truck stadium with the log. So the monster truck stadium in Beckway was your favorite? Mm -hmm. With the logs that make it here. Okay. So yeah. Just like the whole setup. It's the big beach and one side and everything else that you need on the other. All right. Hopefully we've got a nice little sail today. The sail tomorrow will be uh, two nights. Um, probably won't have to hurry to get going. Maybe like noon or something like that. That should get us in early morning um, on Wednesday. Coastline. Chateau Blair is on up around that point, the farther one, the one that's sort of hazy right now from the rain. And that's a nice, uh, nice big anchorage that you can uh, just anchor in. You don't need help for it. Yeah, we're almost there for our first little uh, pre-start, we call it. Kind of getting staged for the the bigger passage. Very pretty cruise though. Lost our wind or just motoring along right now. Well, we made it to our destination in this lovely bay. But been a rainy day and we didn't really plan on getting off the boat anyway 
probably go for a swim, but since we're leaving so early in the morning tomorrow, we don't really want to get the dinghy down. So instead, it is a day to home make everything. Start with some banana bread. Gonna make some meatballs. Probably, hopefully, maybe, depending on how I feel. We'll make some uh, homemade egg noodles. Because when you're stuck on a boat, that's what we do. Look at this place. Yeah, welcome to the jungle. Yeah. This is really cool, actually. Yeah, we are all over. Come on, <laughs> Yeah, I just don't like that I can't see the bottom. <laughs> so it's the sand's black. How is yeah. it? It's nice. Woo! Woo! Here's a cold spot right there. Cheers. Cheers. We made it two hours north. It counts. It was more than two hours. It was at least five. No, probably not. No. We're next to a volcano that could erupt. That'd be fun, right? It kind of would be fun. <laughs> We're not that close to it. Can we put a disclaimer on that, that we don't want it to harm anyone or anyone's things? No, it would just be... We just a, want a little eruption. It would just be an extraordinary thing to be able to see. Yeah. I don't know how to pronounce this. La Soufrie volcano is currently erupting. It's it's more than just active. It's spewing ash and stuff and it's turning into a a bowl, I believe is what they call it. So it's it's changing its uh its makeup. So I mean it's got a lot going on. Uh, where they're like, you know, this thing could go off at any any point. Yeah, it's weird to be alone in a pretty well-known anchorage. The guidebook does say that they've had on and off issues with crime here. You know, we we got the dinghy up and nicely secured and we're not going anywhere. And we got this vicious beast on board who, all joking aside, he barks and growls pretty viciously if anybody approaches the boat, which is awesome. And he doesn't really bark otherwise. We've had two guys approach us. They try to bring you stuff, or they try to help you anchor, or they try to get you to anchor stern to and tie to a tree, and all this kind of stuff. And we decline. We're like, yeah, we're just staying one night, and we're good, everything's fine. But Zeke came out to greet him with a nice growl and bark. I let him show himself, just in case. Hey, there's a possibly dangerous dog on this boat. You vicious puppy, huh? I really do. It does really make what me feel the... better. I know. When we leave the boat, especially because it's kind of just like uh, security in homes. There's so much hassle with having the dog on board and trying to check him in and, and all the stuff that you have to go through, especially when we start going Pacific side, New Zealand and Australia. And, but, like, ah. Uh, I don't know if if we didn't have him. I don't know what. I know I would feel I would much do. less secure yeah. about I want, I want being a, in a lone anchorage like this. And, no, he isn't. We're not gonna get rid of him. And especially leaving the boat and yeah. all that. So. so I don't know. You know, is the hassle worth it? Nobody's We don't know. Anything, so. <laughs> we have no idea if they've tried. Yeah. If only Zeke could tell us. Zeke, has anyone tried to break on the boat when we were gone? Blink twice for yes. Seems like a no. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, the sun is almost down. Cheers, everybody. I already cheered. Yeah, it's cool. <laughs> Talk to you tomorrow. Hey, good looking. Hey. What you got cooking? Kind of looks like some Swedish meatballs and noodles. Um, <laughs> how did you make meatballs so good? Well, I mean, some ball up some meat. Yeah, I put meat with some balls. We need a meatball maker.
I am the meatball Jeez, maker. Meatball maker. We don't need one. We got one. This let's, let's look at the meatballs. They're just like crumbled off and bumpy, kind of. And not like. They're homemade. They're homemade. <laughs> they're, <laughs> they're not they're, supposed to be smooth. And they're, they're kind of like rolled. Mommy's meatball crash apparently is not up to snuff. My Italian ancestors are gonna be pissed. <laughs> pissed? Why are you pissed again? <laughs> Oh, Bumpy. <laughs> Shut up your dick.